summer in uh, one of my training opportunities that we had as chaplains, uh, we had a professor that came and talked to us about prayer and his premise was that uh, we pray about the same old things the same old way and uh, he wants to help people and I just heard his heart and I thought this is so good. He wants to help people pray about the same old things but not the same old way uh, to deepen our prayer life for this reason. And, uh, and I think sometimes we feel a lot like maybe this, this video. Present. Hey Jesus, sorry, I'm late, work was crazy today. No, don't get up, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I just got a little bit behind before we were ready. You know, that's no problem, Chuck. I'm just no, I'm glad I made it too. Uh, listen, let's get down to business. I have a lot of work here. It's a lot of requirements. First things first, Pastor and his wife are in a conference. Keep them safe. Uh, uh, not man, I'm the assistant pastor. The less he preaches, the better. Uh, what else? Ralph, his wife is getting a tattoo removed. Huh. The stupid college party way back when. You know how those things go. It's in a real painful spot. I'm not a fan of football here, but my friend is. If I could have two tickets to take him to show him how cool I am, so he'd be my friend some more, that'd be great. Oh, and dog nipples. That's a good plague. It's, you know, I don't know what I'm thinking. I could use a new jacket. I'm getting fuzzies off on this one. Please bless my sister, my mother, my father. <laughs> Our father, who art in heaven, my neighbor. Send me, hallowed be thy name. Can you sort of train my church to clap on two and four, please? One and three, this is not disco, people. This is serving the Lord. The guy who brings in my shopping cart from the thing, something I can do to get a raise. Can you read what I wrote here? I think I was, I was dreaming. But the Secretary of State, the Secretary of Agriculture, the Secretary of Secretaries, bless their secretaries. <laughs> thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. And that's what bothers me about my mother. <laughs> hey, look at the time there. That's, uh, it's, uh, I gotta get going there. Jesus gonna wrap this up and say amen. Amen. Uh, it's been a pleasure praying with you. It's fine. Good evening. I'll be talking with you. Have a good day. <laughs> Alright. Uh, prayer. So, Warren, would you go turn on the lights for us, please? Thank you, bud. One of our goals this year, and, and I know we're getting into a new year, but I really wanted to fulfill of that goal about prayer and uh, coming across this this summer I think is really going to give us a cool cool tool if you will um, but you know I mean we, we all can identify here I mean even though it's funny and humorous but we we can identify in this area of we pray about the same old things the same old way and what does that do for our prayer lives makes it stale What's the use of praying? Why? Why? Because I just pray about the same old things the same old way. I, I don't want to pray then, right? I, it's, uh, it's a burden to pray at that point, isn't it? So, here is a concept that I think is just great. I think it's simple. I, I believe God gives us simple tools that make powerful impacts into our lives. And prayer is a simple tool and there's ways that we could pray that are going to have lasting and big impacts into our lives and that is prayer through scripture okay well, what does that mean well here it is briefly we take scripture and we allow it to begin to form our prayer from the very beginning it is through the scripture that will then lay the foundation for the direction of what we pray 
about, which will be the same old things, but it will be in a new, fresh way. Let me demonstrate. If you will, turn to Psalms chapter 23. For most of you, you will know this some ways by heart, I hope. But I want you to turn to Psalms 23. The Psalms is such a great place to begin praying through Scripture. Because every line, in some ways, is a thought. It's the beginning of a thought, if you will. And to utilize each verse or each line, if you will, to begin your prayer, because you're praying through Scripture, It's almost endless on how you start your prayer. Again, let me demonstrate. The Lord is my shepherd. Father, I thank you so much for being the great shepherd. Lord, thank you for shepherding my life in all the different areas. Through my finances, through my family, through, through my job, Lord. Thank you for being there as the shepherd. Thank you as a shepherd, you protect me, Lord, and, and you give me my needs and, and you see fit to shelter me. Lord, I pray that you would be a shepherd to my family, to my wife, to my kids. Lord, I pray for those around me that I come in contact with every single day. Lord, I pray that you would begin to shepherd them. And Lord, help me as you bring people underneath me to, to shepherd. Would you help me to model what you do as the great shepherd, to model to them as their shepherd. And we give you great thanks and glory as our shepherd, Lord. Amen. Do you see... I'm praying about some of the same old things. But the scripture is helping me to start and to bring focus in where and why I'm praying. And so you go to the next line. I shall not want. You pray about the things that begin with I shall not. Verse 2, He makes me lie down in green pastures. Lord, thank you so much for leading me to green pastures. Helping me to lie down. Helping me to find rest. And do you see how, how each line and each verse can, can begin your prayer life in a very focused and powerful way? We have 150 psalms. Do you see how your prayer life will not be stale? Do you see how that every prayer that you start when we pray through Scripture will be fresh and new? We're going to be praying about the same old things, but it's going to be in a new way because it's going to be through Scripture. You can do this with your family. The kids and I, we kind of, because we've been tired at night, because we've been doing a whole bunch of things, but we tried this. Warren and Carly are learning how to read and know how to read it, and they read the line of Scripture. And they may not know some of the words, so, so us as parents, we, we, it's a great mentoring time. We help them understand some of these things. And then they start praying about the scripture that they just read and connecting it to all the different facets of their life and their relationships. Do you see how powerful reading the scripture at the same time as we are praying through scripture? What a family event it is. We're if you will, we're killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> we're getting into the Word together and we're praying together. 
in a very powerful way. So what do we do when we come up with a verse that we just don't know how to connect it to? Well, let's not get stuck in our ways and let's just go to the next one. Because there's 150 songs, that's a lot of lines. Don't get stuck, don't get frustrated when you come to a verse or a line that just doesn't make sense to you right there. Just go on to the next one. And God will bring to mind the things you need to pray about when we're through, when we're reading His Word and praying through His Word. Now the Psalms isn't the only place you can, you can do this with. I mean, the Psalms certainly lend itself very well to, to prayer because these are Psalms, these are, this is a lot of ways prayer. As you read through uh, the Gospels, it's not necessarily maybe the line by line that you take, but it's, it's, it's the, the essence of the story that you would pray about. Proverbs is a great place to go. There are other prayer areas uh, within the Bible that are specific prayers that we could use line by line to pray through. It's endless when you kind of think about it. Because, you know, you get through 150 psalms, and then you go back and you start again. Even though you've prayed through that line, that was probably a long time ago. And it's going to be a new and fresh again. Because the Word is living. It is active. And when we take on that, it will be fresh. Good? All right. So that is a part of Wednesday nights. We are going to be praying through the Psalms together. What's going to happen is when we gather together for prayer and it's prayer time, we will open up the Psalms. In fact, I'll probably have it up on the screen. And each person is going to take a line. And we're going to start. One person will start with the first line and start that as their prayer. And they're going to pray about that. And then the next person is going to pray about their line and that kind of thing. And, and we're just going to pray through Scripture. And I'm anxious to see just how powerful our prayer life is going to be. Because we're in the Word and we're praying through. Amen.